Hello everyone, welcome back to Mad About Design. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to design this Archimedean Tremel using Autodesk Fusion 360. This assembly consists of three sliders, one handle, and one base. If you are new to this channel, do subscribe to us and turn on the bell notification so that you won't miss any of our new videos. Now, without wasting time, let's get into it. First, create a new design by going to File and select New Design. The unit I am going to use in this tutorial is millimeter. If you wish to change it, you can do this by going here. First of all, I am going to create a new component, give it a name, Base. Make it activate and click OK. Here is our base. First of all, I am going to create a cylinder on this top surface. Select the origin as the center of the cylinder and give it a dia of 150 mm. Height 50 mm. Hit enter. Here is our cylinder ready. Now I am going to create a new sketch on this surface. So create a new sketch. Select this surface. Go to two point rectangle. Select the first point anywhere here. And the second point aligned with the origin. as like this. Give it a width of 25 mm. Now click on the center and this edge and select the midpoint option. So the center will be at the midpoint of this side of rectangle. Now I am going to trim out the unnecessary portions of this rectangle. Now, I am going to circular pattern these two straight lines around this circle. So under create, go to circular pattern. For the objects, select these two straight lines. For the center point, click on this origin and number of quantity 6. Press enter. Trim out these unnecessary portions carefully. Here we have got our path for the sliders. I am going to add some little bit of decoration here. So under modify, go to offset, select these two line segments, drag them inward up to minus 12 millimeter, press enter. Now I'm going to create another circular pattern of these two line segments. Select these lines, go to circular pattern. For the central point, click on the origin and number of items 6. Press enter. Here is our sketch ready. Finish sketch. Now go to extrude command. For the profiles, select this profile, drag it downward up to minus 20 millimeter. Operation cut and click OK. This is our path for the sliders. Now right click and repeat extrude command. Turn on the visibility of previous sketch by going here. Select these outer profiles carefully. Drag them downward 
up to minus 10 millimeter. Operation cut and click OK. Here is our base ready. Now it's time for the sliders. Before that I'm going to apply some color on it. So press A to go to appearance and apply this white metallic color on it. Go to our main assembly or component. Create a new sketch on this surface of our base. Go to two point rectangle. Select the first point on this corner and the second point of the rectangle on this corner. This will be our first slider. Finish sketch. Press E to go to extrude command. Select this profile. Drag it upward up to 20 millimeter. Operation new component and click OK. So this is our first slider. Rename it to slider. Now click here to activate our slider component. Create a cylinder on the top surface of our slider. Click on the center and give it a dia of 7.5 mm. Height 5 mm. Operation join and click OK. Here is our slider one ready. Go to our main component. Before that, I want to increase the length of our slider. So, under modify, go to press pull. Select these two opposite surfaces and drag them outward up to 5 mm. Now our slider one is completed. Go to our main assembly. I am going to replicate this slider twice. But before that, I am going to apply some color on it. So in order to replicate it, go to move slash copy command. Change the object to components. Click on the slider one. Check the create copy option. Rotate it at an angle of 60 degree and move it at a distance of 75 millimeter. Here we have got our slider two. I'm going to repeat the same step again. So repeat move. Select this component, turn on the create copy option, rotate it at an angle of 120 degree and drag it outward up to 75 millimeter. Here we have got our slider 1, 2 and 3. It's time to create the handle. So. Go to our main assembly, create a new component. For the parent, I'm going to select the main assembly and give it a name handle. Check the box for activate and click OK. I'm going to create a new sketch on the top surface of our slider. So, create sketch and click on the surface. Under create, go to project, selection filter specified entities, select these three circles 
from our slider 1, 2 and 3 respectively. So, these three circles will be projected on our current sketch, as you can see here. Now I can use them for our sketch. Under create, go to circle and select three point circle. Turn on the construction feature. Select three points as three centers of our three sliders respectively. So that we can get the geometric midpoint of these three sliders. Turn off the construction feature. Under create, go to center to center slot. Select the first point of the slot as this one and the second as this one. Give it a dia of 15 mm. Now I am going to pattern this slot around this circle. So under create go to circular pattern for the object. The slot has been already selected and for the center point select this point number of quantities 3 and click OK. Now I am going to trim out these unnecessary portions. Here is our handle almost ready. Time to create a circle from this geometric midpoint. Give it a dia of 7.5 mm as shown in the video. Finish sketch. Go to extrude command. Select this circular profile. Drag it upward up to 10 mm. Click OK. Turn on the visibility of previous sketch by going here. Go to extrude command. Select this profile and give it a extrude distance of 5 mm. Operation join and click OK. Now I am going to provide some fillet here. So go to fillet, select these three edges and fillet them up to 50 millimeter. Here is our handle almost ready. Go to our main assembly. Here is our components ready. You can see the components are not joined together as they can freely move. Revert back to original position. Before applying any joints in between them, we need to ground the base so that it won't move from its original position. In order to do so, right click on base 1 and ground it. Now you can see the base is not moving, whereas the other components can easily move. Revert back to original position. Now I can provide joints. So go to as build joints. Select this slider and this base. Joint type. Slider. Click on snap, it is going to slide in this direction. It is sliding properly, so click OK. Now I am going to repeat the same step two more times for the other two sliders. So go to as build joint, select the slider and 
the base joint type slider for the snap select this axis it is sliding properly so click ok and for the last time this slider and the base for the snap select this axis it is sliding properly so click ok it's time for the revolute joints between the handle and the sliders so repeat as build joint select the handle and the slider joint type revolute snap select this circular profile here you can see our handle is rotating properly so click ok i'm going to repeat the same step two more times for the remaining two sliders here it is rotating properly so click ok and repeat it for the last time between the slider and the handle for the snap select this circular profile as the snap it is rotating properly so click ok so our archimedean tremor is ready now hide the joints now if i try to slide the sliders you can see that they are sliding on the base without colliding with each other if i want to automate it go to joint right click on any of these three revolve and animate joint relationships here you can see our archimedean tremor is working properly thank you guys for watching this video if you liked it hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you have any suggestions and recommendations please let me know in the comment section don't forget to check out our channel for more contents like this see you in the next tutorial till then keep designing and design whatever you love bye bye